Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here and welcome to Get Ready With Me Wednesday. I do this every week with my girl Kat. Dun, 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 dun. We've been doing this for quite a while. She lives down in Florida. She used to live in Texas. That's how long we've known each other. <laughs> I've been with her for quite a while and she's been with me for quite a while. And one day we just started collabing and we kept on going and it's been amazing. I love you so much, Kat, and I appreciate you doing these with me every week. Today I thought I would use this um, P. Louise Wedding Wish. Um, our final chapter was, was a wedding wish. It says on the back, I pressed play on our last love tape and all of my dreams came true. The perfect proposal started a new journey of endless love. I laced myself in the softest of sparkles and all eyes were on me. I never expected you to put a ring on it, but babe, that was our destiny. I'm forever yours. And this is what it looks like. I think they're super cute. I have three of them. There's the, um, the date night. Um, there's, there's three of them and they all look like tapes and they're amazing. So if you want to see me use this and do a look with it, then stick around. I'll be right back. Thanks for wanting to hang out with me for a little bit. Okay. I took it out of the box and this is what it looks like. That's the front and the back. Super cute. You open it up and this is what is it in is inside. I got these in my Busy Beauty Customs. So I already did my my skin prep. I used my Purely Silk BB Cream, which I've been using a lot. I used my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Dun, 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 dun. I used for my brows today my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I also used the Gimme Brow. I finally figured out what the hell this thing is because it all wore off. And then I used my Cookies and Dreams No Budge Eyeshadow to get my lids ready. I think that was it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. What to do, what to do. All right. I think I'm going to go in with ring on it right here. And I'm going to put that in the crease. Dun, 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 dun. So today is Saturday the 7th. If you hear anything, it's because I have videos playing on YouTube. I'm catching up with people. This is what I do in the morning when I get ready for work, because I'm getting ready for work right now, is I sit here and I do my makeup and I play videos, and that's how I keep up. And what I do is I just go through the notifications. I hit the top one and just go down the row. Sometimes if there's two videos from a channel and I'm behind, I'll let, I'll let it continue play. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So if you hear that. But anyways, what was I saying? Today is Saturday and my surgery is in two days. You'll see this video two days after my surgery. And hopefully everything went well and I'm healing well. I was, I posted on Facebook, you know, to kind of just let my friends know what was going on and to kind of ask for prayers. So I, I posted what was going on on my Facebook and my sister shared it and um, my dad's cousin. So she, um, this is creasing, she commented on my sister's post. I guess that thyroid disease runs in my dad's side of the family because she is my grandma's sister's daughter, my Aunt Liz, so my dad's cousin. She just had the surgery, uh, I guess, earlier in 2022, and I guess her daughter has thyroid disease, and her daughter's daughter has it as well. I mean, I had no idea. I had no idea. When they asked me if I had a family history of it, I was like, not that I know of. You know what I mean? Like, I have such a big family, but I don't know, like, a lot about my family history. You know what I mean? Like, I had no idea that there was people in my family that had thyroid disease. 
it's just crazy. But she had the surgery and she said everything went well. And she said like two weeks after her surgery, her doctor asked her how she was feeling and she thought it was funny because she, she said she never felt bad. Like she said it wasn't painful or, you know, but everybody is different. So, you know, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I have to go get my nails taken off today because when you have surgery, one of the things they tell you is not to wear any nail polish because they put one of those things on your finger to monitor your oxygen levels to make sure, you know, you're breathing okay and everything and that your oxygen levels are good. So I asked if I needed to take my acrylics off and when they called me, they said it's a it's up to the discretion of the doctor, but that if I came in with acrylic nails and he didn't want to do the surgery, that they would postpone it. And I've already got everything scheduled. I've got everything worked out with my job. So I, I just can't take any chances. I, I told my sister, I said, I have to take my nails off today. She's like, it's okay. It'll give it a, give them a chance to breathe. And then we can go and have a, a a day where we go get a full set put on so I'm like all right I still I, I'm gonna miss my nails every time I've had them taken off because this wouldn't be the first time I've had my nails taken off it's just I miss them you know when I don't have them all right I'm gonna go into endless love which is this shade right here and I'm just gonna buff this out a little bit with my what is this elf blending brush just kind of going to go along the edge here. Oh, I'm just so nervous, you guys. I'm so nervous. And I'll try to keep you guys updated. I really wanted to do like a vlog video. You know what I mean? Like as much as I can. You know, it's not like I can like take you guys in the surgery room with me or anything. And I think it's only, I want to say an hour is the surgery. How long it'll be. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I go through bouts where I'm like, I'm good. And then I'm not so good. You know, I'm crying and I'm scared and everything. And then I'm good again. And then I'm crying and I'm scared again. Why does this one look darker than this one? That's driving me bonkers. But I'll keep you guys posted as best as I can. I'm going to try to do... Uh, like a little bit of a vlog you know what I mean I I just I feel like it would be beneficial to share it you know because maybe there's somebody out there that's going through or going to go through the same thing that I'm going through right now and they're scared and you know if I can share my journey and that everything will be okay you know fingers crossed that everything's going to be okay and there's no you know, I don't know, complications. I'm going to go in with commitments, which is this one right here. And I'm going to put that on my lid. I know I got to work yesterday and one of my coworkers was standing in the garage when I pulled up and she was like, good morning. How are you? Happy Monday. And I just kind of looked at her like kind of sad, you know, and she's like, what's wrong? And I kind of started crying. <laughs> she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I have to have surgery on Monday and I'm scared. And she's like, oh, it's going to be okay. And she just gave me a hug and she's just really sweet. She's really sweet to me. And, you know, I, I just really appreciate everybody that reaches out, you know, that's not like, you know, making me feel bad about the decision that I made or, you know what I mean? I'm going to use my finger and tap it on. But it's it's nice to have people encourage me and share their stories of their thyroid journey and that so that I don't feel like I'm so alone and that I'm not the only one that has a surgery and that their surgeries went well. You know, it's it's nice to hear positive stories about other people's journeys. It was really great to find out I'm not the only one. I mean, not like 
not like in a good way, but you know what I'm saying? The find out that there's people in my family that have the same thing. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, I'm not the outsider here and I'm not the only one suffering with it. You know what I mean? Like, and that's kind of like how I was feeling, you know, like how come I'm the only one that has to deal with all this stuff? You know, not like I wish this on anybody else because I don't, you know, it's, it's not like it's, it's like terrible every day, but you know, when you are in a thyroid flare up and your levels aren't, you know, normal, it's, it's hard. You know, when I first got diagnosed, like I had been sick for, I want to say a little over a month and you know, they're like allergies and you're taking allergy medicine and it's not helping and you're like, something else is wrong and what's wrong with me? And you just, you know, just the stuff that goes on when you're going through it is like, it's frustrating and scary and just, it's just not good. You know what I mean? I'm going to use this shade and I'm going to put it on the outer V. That shade is really pretty. Like, I could remember going to lay down at night to go to sleep so tired, and I would just lay there for hours. For hours. And I would maybe get an hour or two of sleep a night, and then would have to go to work every day. And it messes, because it's, your thyroid, like, it controls everything in your body and like your hormone levels and stuff. And you can imagine the stuff like if you've been pregnant or when you start your period and you go through, you know, or you go through menopause and your hormones change, like the things that happen to you, like your, your, um, your attitude, your, your grumpy, you know, your, you have like, it's just, it's crazy. The things that your thyroid controls and when it's out of whack, it really screws with your body. But when you're like so tired and you want to sleep and you can't, it it can be really frustrating. And then I kept feeling like, like I had congestion in my nose and like a headache all the time. And my heart rate was constantly going and I would get short of breath and kind of like that's been going on a little bit recently, you know, and I asked if my shortness of breath could be because of my thyroid and my doctor said my levels are fine, which I know they've been fine, but that doesn't mean that that there isn't like some, you know, side effects, you know, from my thyroid not being, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, so I can't speak on it, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. It could be, you know, I was talking to Kim from Kim's Happy Place and she said that when her anxiety, you know, gets bad, it causes, um, you know, shortness of breath and your, your heart to kind of race a little bit, which, you know, sometimes I don't feel like I'm anxious, but maybe I am, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's weird you know you you don't think that you're stressed out or that you're anxious you think you're fine but like if you really think about it like deep down you probably are anxious you know I've got surgery coming up my dad's going through radiation you know I'm trying to work every day and you know maybe I am having like maybe I have been anxious for the last you know month and just not really thinking about it too much, you know, because sometimes I can just kind of, I don't know, pretend like things aren't bothering me when they really are or trying to put on a happy face when I'm really not doing okay. Sorry. I'm good, guys. I am. I'm just scared. And I know I'm not alone. I, I do. I know I'm not alone, but, you know, sometimes I feel like that. You know, I know I have friends and I have a lot of support and I appreciate it so much. But, you know, sometimes it's hard when you don't have that special someone that's there to, like, help you, you know, and take care of you. 
and I don't, I don't need somebody, but you know, it's just, it's nice when you have somebody, you know what I mean? Whew, I wasn't expecting to get emotional, but here we are. <laughs> Whew. It's getting later and I have got to finish getting ready and I gotta stop crying so I can finish my makeup. Whoo! I really do appreciate all of you so much for all your prayers and your love and support. I think this palette's really pretty. I'm gonna blend that out some more when I'm done putting my makeup on. I'm gonna use this matte and poreless normal to oily. I can't <laughs> I can't read it because I got tears in my eyes. Um this is Maybelline Fit Me 120. Is it classic ivory, I think? Yeah, I think it says classic ivory. That's what it looks like, the lids. There we go. Put the lid on front. When you twist it, it that's that's on tight. <laughs> that's funny. The only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have like a pump. I like the pumps or when it has like those little stick doe, 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 doe foot applicators. I like those too. I know some people don't, but I don't mind them. I really don't. I feel like it's easier to get the foundation on your face. Better than this that doesn't have anything. Just blend this out. It's a really good foundation. Yesterday I used this one. This is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Um, I think it's a little too yellowy for me. It's a great foundation. I just think I need a different color. I can make it work for me though. I just think it's a little too yellow. This is a pretty good match though. And this is drugstore, which I'm a drugstore girl. I really am. I don't mind high end, but I don't have to have it. You know what I mean? Like I've always been a drugstore girl and I probably always will be because drugstore has really good makeup. You don't need to spend a fortune to, I mean, one of my favorite foundations is the Believe Beauty. And it's $5 at Dollar General. You know what I mean? Like, and it looks great. Everybody's different though. Everybody's got different skin types. Doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody, but there are people out there that swear by it because it works for them and they, they enjoy it, you know, but there's other ones, wet and wild, wet and wild is a really great affordable foundation and I love it. I, I talked about it before and, uh, Tish went out and bought it and it's one of her favorites now. One of the girls I watch on TikTok, uh, Ashley painfully beauty. Um, she uses wet and wild and she swears by it. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to be for everybody, but there are people out there that really enjoy it because it's for them. It's a really good foundation. And I'm sure there's other drugstores like Maybelline, Revlon. You can find something that's going to work for you in the drugstore realm. I'm sure some people just prefer high-end makeup you know what I mean they prefer to buy the more expensive stuff I just feel like why do I want to spend that much money when I can find something more affordable that's going to work just as good I just used a little bit of my elf uh hydrating camo concealer just to kind of tap underneath my eyes here all right now I'm going to go in with my Hard Candy Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to use my little poof here that I got from Timu. I really like it. I mean, it's like these. Like, why would you go out and spend a shit ton of money? I mean, if it falls apart, it falls apart. I mean, they were only, I got three of them for like, I don't know, like a dollar or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, why, why do you need to spend a, a, crap ton of money on something like this like I just I don't understand it this I'm sure works 
just as good. I remember when everybody was buying the, the Tati one and I've seen some of them that had theirs fall apart. You know what I mean? And I'd be like devastated to spend that much money on something just to have it fall apart. You know what I mean? Like it's a lot of money. I don't mind buying something cheap that's going to fall apart because, you know, I didn't spend a lot on it. But if I spend something, if I spend a lot of money, I want it to last a while. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. I don't want it to, you know, fall apart on me. All right, I'm going into this Profusion Highlight and Bronzer Duo. I got this from Riri in the giveaway that I won from her. I used this yesterday, too. And I kind of like it. I kind of like it a lot. I actually used this highlighter right here with, what was that other? I have a matte palette that I used. And so I used these, this highlighter for my lid because I like to, I like to have a little shine on my lid. I'm not, I'm not an all matte eye look girl. What do you guys think? I mean, I think it's not a bad shade. All right, now for my blush, whoops, for my blush, I'm going to use this Bow Babe Beauty, and this is Beached Blush. I think I got this in Ice Cream Beauty. Dun, 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 dun. It's a pretty shade. Just going to tap it on my cheeks and right by my temple here. See, that's a pretty shade. I like it. I like it a lot. I think this video is getting a little long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this blush and then I'm gonna get off, finish the rest of my makeup, and then I will come back with the final look. Liner, lashes. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like my brows are not. I hate the brows. I should just get like that, whatever it is. You know, where they put the brows on, but then, like, I'm just nervous about it, you know, because you're not supposed to, because of how you have to take care of it while it's healing, you know what I mean? And I'm kind of lazy in some ways, and that's one of the ways I'm lazy in, but man, to not have to do my brows would be freaking amazing. All right, guys, I'll be right back, so don't go anywhere. All right, guys, I'm back, and the look is done. I'm pretty sure I got everything done. All right, so what did we do? All right, so we did use this Profusion bronzer that I did before I went off, but then I used the highlighter in here, and I put a little bit on my inner corner and a little bit on my brow bone. I kind of used this brush right here to do the inner corner, and then I just tapped it here, but then I went in with my like highlighter brush and just kind of blended it out a little bit. So I think it turned out pretty nice. On my lower lash line, I put a little bit of the, what is it? Wifey color, which I also put on the outer V there. So I used the wifey and then I used the ring on it right here to blend it out. And then for my mascara, I used my Laura Geller Fortifying Lash Primer, and then I also used my Doucet Max Lash Volumizer uh, for the upper lashes, and then for the lower lashes, I used my uh, Act Natural ColourPop in black. For my lips, I used this Cara Spice Lip Liner, and then I used this Floss, I don't know what that says, Lip Something, but it's like a little crayon. And I really like it. I know some people don't like these crayons, crayons, lip crayons, but I really like it and I think it's a really pretty color. But that's just my opinion. Not everybody has to like it. But as long as I like it, it and, and that's a thing. Whatever you use, if you like it, use it. If you feel beautiful, use it. You are the only one that matters. You know what I mean? You know, do what makes you feel beautiful. Do what makes you feel good. And I like it, so I'm going to use it. But this is the P. Louise uh, Wedding Wish palette. Let me show it to you again. I think these palettes are really cool. I really like them. And they're perfect for everyday work looks. You know what I mean? Like, And I like the neutral natural colors. I do like to do some color, 
you know, from time to time, but I also like to do these because I just, I don't know, I just feel like it looks really nice and that shimmer on the lid is like chef's kiss. But anyways, um, yeah, I guess that's my video for today. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. It means a lot to me. I, I don't know if I'm going to have a video up next week. Um, Kat, I'll, I'll let you know how I'm feeling. Um, hopefully, maybe I'll feel up to filming, you know, on the weekend um, for the following week. We'll see. I don't know if I'll do a Mask Monday for next week either. We'll, I'm just going to have to play it by ear and see how I'm feeling after my surgery. But hopefully I'll be able to get some content out to you guys. But if not, um, I'll try to post on my community tab, maybe do some shorts and let you guys know how I'm doing and how I'm feeling. Um, but with that being said, thanks for hanging out with me. I will leave Kat in the end screen and down below in my description box. Make sure you go, guys go check her out and show her some love. She's amazing. I love her so much. And uh, yeah, I noticed that you're over 300, Kat, so congratulations on that. I can't wait to see your video. I hope that you all take care and stay safe. Um, have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Um, I hope that that if you have not subscribed yet, that you will go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn up the notification bell. That way you can get notified anytime I make a new upload. If you wouldn't mind giving the video a big thumbs up, it truly means a lot. It helps out the channel, lets you two know that you enjoy seeing my content and leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you stopped by. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I gotta head out to work. Let me know what you think of the look. I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty. All right, I love you all so much and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.